Hey guys and welcome to this Cubase tutorial video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to properly organize your project files and create a directory for saving everything in. Uh, it's pretty important that you get this right because it will reduce the risk of losing any or corrupting any files um, that you've saved for your projects. Uh, so when you start a new project for the first time you'll get prompted with the Steinberg Hub window. Uh, we're going to ignore all these different tabs because we're just going to be focused focusing on these two down here. Now you've got two checkboxes, one says use default location and one's prompt for project location. Uh, both of these pretty much do the same thing, the only difference is use default location allows you to uh, set the folders, uh, select a folder quickly and, and it will automatically create uh, track folders inside your root folder. Um, by default it normally sets this to your C drive so you'll have like C users and a couple of dots and then Cubase project files. It's never a good idea to save any important documents or files to your C drive because if anything goes wrong with your operating system and you have to do a clean wipe or if something becomes corrupt and you have to wipe the drive then you're going to lose obviously all of your files. So photos, videos, music important project files, save them all on different hard drives, it's a much better thing to do and it also reduces the workload for your hard drive improving performance. So if you don't have an, a separate hard drive and you've only got the one, they are very cheap to pick up, especially on PCs. I mean, you could pay £50 and you'd get a one terabyte storage mechanical hard drive. I'll leave a link, an Amazon link in the description below just to show you guys, um, you know, some of the different hard drives you could purchase and stick into your system. So we're just going to carry on now. Uh, for this, we're going to be uh, clicking use default location and we're going to create a new folder inside our separate hard drive. So I've got an audio projects folder. As you can see, I've already got different root folders set up here, but we're going to create a new one. So I'm going to name this Cubase 9 projects. And now if we just clicked OK, this root um, folder uh, has now been created. And then if we're working on a track, let's say track 1, we can create track one by naming it here and say we've just made some music you know with all the files we've done some recording we're saving it we call it track one again and when I close the project if I navigate to my hard drive now where we save that audio projects, Cubase projects, you'll see that inside Cubase projects you've got this track one folder and if you click on that you'll have your CPR file and there should also be another file called audio and if you've recorded any audio all your audio files will get saved into that folder. It's always good to have a subfolder in your root directory things uh, especially if you're working on your tracks. It's never a good idea to save all your Cubase CPR files into one folder and share one folder um, because all the audio files when they get saved into the audio folder if anything becomes corrupt or goes missing or you delete something it's going to mess it up for all the other tracks as well. Now if you want to have a bit more of an advanced directory so you're not just got an endless list of uh, tracks and you want to organize it better so you've got albums, artists and all the rest of it then this is how you go about doing it. So we go to new project, go prompt for project location, we're going to create an empty folder and we're going to navigate to uh, either create or navigate to your Cubase 9 projects folder and then we're going to just create some new folders so we're going to put my albums and then we're going to create another one call it artists and just for the sake of this video let's say we're recording an album with someone called Mr. T then we're going to want to put um, Mr. T as a subdirectory folder in artists and his album's called Pain so uh, we're going to name it Pain and then one of the tracks off his album called Pain is just Sucker. So we're going to create our track in the folder Sucker. So the song Sucker is going to have its own folder in the Pain directory and we're going to create our tune inside of that. So if we click OK obviously it'll start up a session, you do all your recording, you know, there's Let's just add a couple of tracks in for the sake of it. Uh, so you've done the, sa the session and you're saving it. So you want to save it as Sucker. Like that. And then when you close Cubase, 
and uh, navigate to that drive uh, from your computer. Cubase 9 projects, you'll see that the file directories have been created here. So we've got my albums, we've got artists, Mr. T, his album Pain, and then the song Sucker. And you can see there we've got Sucker <laughs> inside of its own file. Um, so it's pretty important to um, you know, organize all your folders correctly because it reduces any chances of you actually mis, mis saving files and causing any issues with Cubase. Um, and the final thing I'm going to show you actually now is if we go to create another project and you don't want to keep using this to navigate to the location for Mr. T's album, if you're going to be working on Mr. T's album for the week, and um, then you can just literally click on the root directory folder for it like this. Uh, Mr. T album's pain, and then when we create another track, let's call this pain two. Create create empty. I'm going to save it. Pain O2. Um, you'll see now when I go to the file directory that it's actually going to have its own root folder as well. So Mr. T, Pain, Pain 2, Sucker. So it's all getting saved correctly, and you can see there's an audio file folder there. When you use the uh, first version, um, first, the first tab for saving uh, your files, it will automatically create one. This will only create one when you've recorded any audio, uh, I think so. Uh, and the beauty of having it set to this directory as well is when you want to create other um, songs under Mr. T's Pain album, then whatever you name them, use this default location name at the right and it'll automatically create the folders and do it for you that way. So that's pretty much how you set up your directories. It's always wise to keep everything organized, name everything correctly, use the correct locations, don't save everything in just one particular folder, um, create all your subdirectories and have different folders for each track, artist and project that you're going to be working on. I just said project, not project crumbs uh, so anyway guys i'm going to leave a description uh, a link in the description box below for uh, some hard drives you can check out if you need the extra storage for your projects and um, thank you for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe share the channel to your friends and i'll see you all in the next cubase tips video